Uh, great team win. Uh, we played good football tonight in all three phases, and um, all three phases had a hand in the win. I thought our special teams, uh, Jack was really good, Chris was good, Seth Porter made some big time plays. So our special teams was very, very good against a really good special teams unit at uh, Tech has. Uh, offensively, we were able to rush the football. They were giving us the rush. Uh, that's why we kept going to it. Um, they were giving us quarterback run. That's why we kept going to it. Uh, and then on defense, that's, that's a really, really talented uh, offensive team. And um, I know we gave up a lot of yards, but we were able to get uh, three big turnovers, two fourth downs, so essentially five turnovers. Uh, and we have to do that on the road to have a chance to be successful. I'm a huge Joey McGuire fan. Uh, I got tons of respect for him and his football team. Uh, and without a doubt, we beat a really good team tonight. But offensively, was that the, the plan going in all that quarterback run, or was that an mm -hmm. adjustment on the fly? No, it was what we had planned on. We were gonna we were gonna play uh, both kids the whole time, and, and we knew it. Um, but we didn't know what would happen when we put Avery in um, and were able to get that first drive when he scored. And then uh, kind of went back and forth, and they just kept giving us the same looks. So we decided to play him a little bit more because he was, he was in a good rhythm. The offense was in a good rhythm. And then because of his ability to stretch the field, um, with his with his speed and legs, it opened up a lot of things for Treshawn Ward then, and I thought Treshawn Ward made our offense really good tonight. You know that's the thing that I was hoping for with him. DJ's a great running back, but tonight it was Treshawn's uh, opportunity, and uh, that's the thing. We got a bunch of unselfish guys in there, including Will Howard, including DJ Giddens, uh, including guys like Jake Clifton. That they just wanted to win, and uh, so it was just kind of how the game. Uh, unfolded with us um, running the quarterback, which then opened up everything else. How impressive is it to look down and see true freshman play like that? Um, very impressive, but he's not really a true freshman, you know, and uh, I, I know he is. He was here in the spring. He's got a calmness. He's got a he's got a demeanor to him. He's got a competitiveness. When we recruited him, that was the the number one thing that that jumped out at me and when, when we recruited Avery was how competitive he was in, in every sport, in every game that you play, uh, in everything. And so um, when you have that kind of competitor, the moment's probably never going to be too big. One of the biggest things that you harped on defensively over the last couple of weeks was forcing turnovers. Yeah. Three big there in the second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they were huge and came at, at crucial times. These guys are not going to be just shut down. The, the running backs, as good as there is, uh, they've got really big wide receivers that go up and catch and attack the football. So you're not going to just stone them. You just can't. They're too good. Um, but we had a lot of situations where we would bend and we would bend, and then either we'd get a pick, we'd get a big fourth down stop, and you hold that. I don't know what they're averaging, guys, but you hold that team to, to 21 points. Now, I don't know what happened to their quarterback. I, I don't know because he didn't play the second half, right? And I'm sure that was a factor for them, too. Did Adrian's success last year against Tech kind of alter that game plan to have two run today? Um, it was a part of it. I mean, we knew that either – they were going to have to fix some of the things that we were able to get on them, um, uh, or, or we we're going to continue to go to the well. And then, you know, us probably keeping them off balance by by playing Will some too. And and Will's throw to Ben Senate really kind of opened everything up for us. We were struggling a little bit, um, and uh, Will threw a strike to Ben for a huge gain. And then, I think either the next play or a couple plays after that. We saw some looks that were like, okay, quarterback run. So then we made the switch to try to get uh, um, Avery the ball in the perimeter. I was able to see on the TV feed, uh, just in, in between drives, while, while Avery was in there for, for that long stretch, Will talking to him, encouraging him. Yeah. They're, they're very much being a part of the game plan, even though he didn't play it. Yep. Like the second half, how, how you just that Because he's, he's a competitor. He's a, a great teammate. Um, he plays for Kansas State. He doesn't play for Will Howard University. He plays for Kansas State. And um, that's the kind of guys we have in that locker room because Seth Porter would like to play a ton of wide receiver, but unfortunately he's playing special teams. Everybody wants uh, the catches, the carries, the touches, the tackles. 
Um, but sometimes uh, the game dictates it another way. And uh, whatever your role was going to be today, one play, 30 plays, we needed everybody today. And uh, that's why I'm so, I'm so proud of Will Howard, just like I am Avery, and just like I am everybody else on defense and offense. Jason Brown, true freshman, had a catch. I think he blocked his butt off tonight, too. He did. Uh, yeah, trust yeah absolutely. And he was he was uh, not with us for a few days because of an illness against Oklahoma State, and so that really made it hard for us because he missed some time there. But he's gotten better and better, um, and he he has a spark for us with some speed. And and uh, I don't know, he made one catch, but it was a pretty big catch. Um, I thought Philip made a couple of big time plays. Uh, the first seam ball. Um, that will threw him. That was bang bang, and, and they made that catch. It was, it was huge for us to get three on that first possession, to try to take their crowd out of it a little bit. We didn't take them out of it much, but we were able to get three right off the bat uh, on a big drive when we took the football, and um, that that was that was big. And then you know I, I, we were down a little bit in that second half, and and the way the guys responded, I thought was really good. Coach, defensively, how did you adjust when you walked out of the locker room and saw a different quarterback at the second? Well, we started to pressure more, um, and uh, we probably caused some some <coughs> issues early with our pressure. But uh, is that kid a true freshman? Does anybody know? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Um, boy, he stepped up because that's not an easy environment, uh, just like ours. And he creased us for a huge run. Uh, for a 50-yard run, and and then he threw some really good 50-50 balls to their outside receivers, and I, Jacob Paris played his tail off and battled, and they just have really good receivers. I thought their their receiver did a good job. What we started to pressure more. How close is Willie to getting back? I don't know. That last tech drive of the first half, Jake Clifton gets the targeting call. Yeah. What did you see there? And then you know, it's there. always so hard on on those things when we see our replay. And you know, I, I, we're we're having fewer and fewer of these in college football, and we all know it wasn't malicious by Jake. And if his if he if he got him with the crown, then that's just the rule, and I, and, and we have to accept it, and we'll teach and learn from it. But um, it was such a bang bang thing that, uh, and it gave him a little bit of life on it. And then they did they did a nice job. They we got caught in a in a in a, in a poor call. Um, when we had our dime defense out there and they ran the ball with the good running back and that got them down there. I got to ask, when uh, Avery plays that well, does that make you think at all about reassessing the QB order? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it each week. But um, I, know, I know this, both kids, uh, Avery and Will, are really good football players and we need them both. Anything else? When you guys how, how did much? fall behind, the second half. What do you think the guys did to keep their composure? In? One play at a time. I mean, we just kept talking about that. Um, just own that one play. And I, I think we knew we could move the ball. I think Colin felt like he had a pretty good rhythm of calling things, but then we just had to make some plays one play at a time. And, and then getting that, getting the, the touchdown and then the quick turnover. I think VJ Payne was right after that, made the big time play that got us up to a 10 point lead. That was huge. How much is, does Trayshawn's speed complement a guy like Avery Johnson? Yeah, uh, uh, tonight it was a big factor because, you know, if you're going to try to take the way the quarterback run tonight, you have to widen your your edge players, and then it and then then our offensive line becomes our offensive line because we can then move people inside. And I thought I thought Trayshawn ran really physical and really hard, um, and, and had kind of a chip on his shoulder tonight. So I, I was proud of him. He got one of our awards tonight too. Avery slid on that, that last play that probably could have It's a first down, go down situation. Kind of like the two point play was last last week. It's just situations that we go over all the time in practice. And when we called the timeout, we said, this is first down, go down. And if we got a first down, we're going to go down. A couple reasons. One, uh, I just don't want to score. And then what happens if they score and all that other stuff. Plus, if you can get down and then not have to call any more plays, you know, we were almost out of linebackers today, so I wanted to get I wanted to get out of that game. Coach, before this game in your press conference, you said that Ty Brooks was one of the best running backs in the Big Twelve. 
Can you just talk about what it was like going up against him? Yeah, I thought we played really well and, and did a great job. And he he earned every yard he got today. He had the big run for 30 yards, and we missed a couple tackles. But he makes people miss all the time. But I thought for the most part, our kids really did a great job on him. But he's a really good player, special player. Avery's five rushing touchdowns, his school record. Did you know it was Collins' record that he tied? He, uh, no, I did not know that. <laughs> was it Collins' true freshman year? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Collins was a wide receiver his true freshman year. Yeah. <laughs> so. one more? Well. Okay, All right, you. guys, we're going to enjoy this one. Hey, Thanks. Guys, we're going to do, do players. Uh,